The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And this is their third drive. Maybe the focus right now not so much on points, but getting their first first down. And when you start off a game, you don't even think that's an issue, do you? But you go a drive, a second drive, no first down, that becomes an issue. Now you got to think about, okay, what type of play calling do I have to do to get us in a spot to pick that first one up? A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now Trubisky to Cohen out of the backfield. They'll give him eight on the play, and just like that, it's third down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit, but get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Here's Trubisky. And a diving grab. I think he got that. Yes. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Hey, did you have one of those backyards that you had one of those, like, mats or pits like you have for high jumpers? And, you know, you had your friends throw the ball and you tried to make the spectacular catches? I didn't need a mat. <laughs> you, you just did it with the ground? Absolutely. That explains your Concrete. toughness. That explains your toughness right there. Because I think that guy was raised just like you. What a catch. Trubisky will come up here first and ten. And he's a perfect six for six here to start the ball game. Now it's Trubisky. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here at half number one. Trubisky gives to Cohen. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Now Trubisky. And he's got it. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. But following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. On second down, Montgomery. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. On third down, Trubisky. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man, and you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they looked at it at lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. 
And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to bring up a third down. Hey, five. Out of the gun, gone. Being chased out left. This one to the left to Higby. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It'll be a first down for the Rams there on a pickup of 18. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 41. Gurley. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Another carry now for Gurley. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. Pardon, I know my grade school teachers never would believe this, but I can absorb a lesson. I think there's a lesson in this one. He's having a great day running the football, but occasionally they're going to find a way to stop you, aren't they? Yeah, this time the defense stepped up in what's been so far. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. A good sustain. No, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And he's going to be taken down. It's a sack. And they fail on the try for two. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This fielded at the two. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary, it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team that's playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Here we go on fourth down with Trubisky. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down. But to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. Now it's Gurley. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. 22 yards, and the Rams tack on to their advantage. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears' offense. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Corey Littleton. 
Well, this defensive pressure has been... The young, incredible, one is the unforgettable. You would joke like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. I just had to let you know. It's the young, incredible, one is the unforgettable. You would joke like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. Yeah. I just had to let you know. Yeah. Uh, give me that work and I can sell it. Uh. I put it on the line like I ain't selfish. Nah. The story flip if I let you tell it. Put my heart and soul in so you feel it. I ain't never faking, I'm the realest. Since Tupac in the prison, man, claiming his innocence. Currently, I'm the greatest rapper in a sense. But any currency, I'm still guaranteed my wins. This is coming from within, I stuff for real, I don't pretend. When the OG spilling knowledge, bet his best you soaking it. I'm a prophet to them scholars, got them chakras opening. Got them fixing up they octaves, now they truly focused in. Uh. I'm seeing 2020 visions, yeah. daily manifesting on my premonitions. Yeah. Best to keep it neutral, got my own religion. Yeah. The brainwash, gotta make your own decision. My word is James Bond, I stay on the mission. Coming for the top position, ain't no competition, man. Pull up in the top, it's missing, fuck the opposition in. All that lane switching, this is what the game is in. It's the young new. Incredible, one is the unforgettable. You would joke like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. I just had to let you know. It's the young, incredible, one is the unforgettable. You would joke like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. I just had to let you know.
Thomas, that's 20 goons in them. Ice cream whip, triple school. I got three strikes, ain't got to lose. When it's all on the line, what you gonna do? Come on, I'm highly favored. Don't wanna blame me, though. No conversation, ain't got time for no debating. It's for the taking, no hesitation. Uh, don't try my patience. I'ma pour out one for the set, pour it till there's nothing left. On a run to the bread until we all got them baguettes. Hear them footsteps coming, cause we coming for the check. We ain't gon' run, no, we don't hide. I can never switch, not a day in my life. Long as my dogs stay by my side. Check the wrist, man. Got him hot. Hey, man, can't ball like this, man. Lord, past the pig skin, money stretch a distance. I'm talking a few hundred thousand yards. You just on your fifth grand. Run it up, 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 count it up. Hey, hundreds and fifties and twenties, no fives and no singles, don't count on them. Hey, she wanted like me because I blame she can't count on him. She tried to be nosy and hit up my ex. She like, girl, you can count on him. Hey, hey, we need more. Tell them we need more. Putting numbers on the board. Like Hey, 16 cars in my front yard. Hey, 30 on my wrist, but I'm going to go. Big numbers, big numbers. 100 minute bag, that's a big number. Big numbers, big numbers. Whole team counted, that's a big number. Big numbers, big numbers. 100 minute bag, that's a big number. Big numbers, blue hunts. How many y'all came to win? Oh, they asking my name, huh? You ready? S-T-R-O, I ain't come to play with you. Yeah. Life challenging, but I wouldn't trade I wouldn't with you. Trade. It's early, I'm up. Yeah. I can't spend the day with you. I'm out of my business. Uh. I ain't getting paid with you. No, I come to bright. Yeah. I ain't finna fade with you. Man, I gotta come clean Man, like I made with clean. you. I been on my everybody drop when I drop. Yeah. Look at shorty, uh. she support uh. bra. Lifting up. Never not on my grind. New York City time. Another brother better, you will never find. I've been in my bag like groceries. Competition shouldn't take shots, take notes, please. Reporting live from the winner side. Ready, try, keep a different vibe. Is you down the ride, never tired. You will never know, you ain't never tried. Work it out, hit the gym, hit the field. Hey, yo, I need that. Big chips, man, I need that. 
hustle hard on the job, you can see that. On my head is real good, we don't need your feedback. They clear the way with my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. Yeah. Beats, leave it in the street. In the chase on the news. What I do? Lace up my shoes, chase W's. Great colored coops. Oh no, no, I can't be number two. MVP the league most valuable. They sweet as apple juice. Talking trophies, I didn't grab the few. Can't match this attitude. I Wear my heart on my sleeve, please. I move like the wind, can't catch this breeze, freeze. Stop you in your tracks, it's not no preseason. We seeking W's like Tupac used to throw up. Forget it, might as well forfeit your team, shouldn't even show up. What you wanna be when you grow up? They used to ask me. Naturally, I chose an athlete. Competition never matched me. We ain't go together. Like camouflage and polka dots. Focus on your position, just know your spot. Show don't stop, it's a long season. They planning on winning for the wrong reasons. Trying to get my number retired, can't let these frauds beat us. I figured out the rest. Recipe. Never let opponents get the best of me. I'm focused on my legacy. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard on the job, you can see that. On my head is real good, we don't need your feedback. They clear the way with my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the blues. Yeah. Yeah. Beats, leave it in the street, case on the news. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you get a look inside Gillette Stadium here in Foxborough. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the Los Angeles Rams. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Now on second down, this is good. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. 
That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Michael Bennett's versatility, being able to play any position along the defensive front, allows him to make those types of plays. He finds good matchups and gets into the offensive backfield. And there it works for a tackle for loss. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. After the false start, sets up a third and nine. Tiger, Tiger! From the gun, here's Gall. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Chung. Not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Second and goal from the six this time. Chugger, chugger! 26 months, 26 months. All day. Just... To throw, it's Brady. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Josh Gordon there to make the grab. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Goskowski with the extra point. And it's now a 7 0 game. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Meanwhile, Goff to Gurley as he drops it off for his running back. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Give him nine on the play, and that'll make it second and short. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. Gurley's got the first down and then some. And all the way up to the 46. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Mike Bennett, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Goff's throw here finds Woods. They'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. Man open, it's Cup. He's got it. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. It's the first catch of the game for Cop, and he's got a first down. Goff now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and 10. Back to the ground game here. Gurley works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size and these dimensions, 
I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. From the 29, Goff going to throw deep for the end zone. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes his quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some Dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. Throwing on third. Gone. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Goff and his guys not coming off the field. They're going for this. We won just inside the 25-yard line. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. They'll fake the handoff, now gone. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And he's gonna lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second down, golf. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. Those strong windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. On third down, they'll run it with Gurley. And yeah, that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. complete some collective exhales over there on the sideline a big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal this will be the first red zone opportunity now for the rams they've got a first and goal from the 10 yard line They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. 
He'll try to run this one in. And yeah, he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that is going to set up third and goal. Here's Gurley. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Defensively, they rally the troops to force fourth down after that seven-yard pickup back on first. So going for it on fourth has worked twice on this drive already. Now it gets more interesting here on fourth and goal. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. And that is going to be incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Patriots get the football back. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice that it all came together. But I'll bet you it got galvanized in the locker room in pregame. Somehow I think the head coach, his oratorical skills were on point. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Brady gives to Michelle. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. 27 yards there, a first down. I don't think that's what the defensive coordinator had in mind there. You got him pinned back inside the five, and then you let him rip off that long run. You're already anticipating the film session, aren't you? There's going to be some anger. Yeah, it's not going to be at the greatest hits, is it? Because they didn't hit anyone on that play. Supposed to have him pinned back deep. Instead, they leave a big crack, a gaping hole, and guess what? They're in bad position right now. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Hey, hey, Wood! Throwing on first down is Brady. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. But one thing's for sure, when you've got a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Mike, Mike. 26, Mike. Hey, let's get that ball, D. Let's get that ball. Alert! 26 Mike, 26 Mike. To throw again, Brady. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 19 yards to pick up there, move the chains. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Got to give a nod of appreciation to some of those guys up front over on that left side. Several key blocks sprung him. No appreciation for the guys from the back side that didn't allow any leakage and anybody to run him down from the back side. Nah, they're, they're at the kids' table. Okay, so, so front side guys, good. Yeah. Back side guys, Man, that's what you're supposed to do? I've had better. Okay, either way, worked out quite well, didn't it? A nice, sizable game. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now a play fake, Brady. Throw over the middle, secured by Gordon. And they've got it inside the ten at the eight. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. On play action, it's Brady. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots! Josh Gordon 
with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. This is taken about seven yards deep. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They Todd Gurley, wave goodbye. The 20. Touchdown, L.A. Todd Gurley. As the first half is winding down, as they are now on the board here in the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yeah. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, a full half to be played. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? You're just feeling it. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. Here's a second and two now from the 33. I'm gonna set a tone. 26 Mike, 26 Mike. I'm gonna run you over. I'm gonna run you over. Rip. 26 Mike, 26 Mike. Hey, Delta. Now Brady. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Credit that sack to Dante Fowler Jr. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Looks for White, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 20. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find a spot, and now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. Look, like 20. They run, it's Gurley. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. A 
Again they run with Gurley. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Dante Hightower on the stop. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to pull up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Goff on third down. He's got it. It's Higby. Touchdown, Rams. Tyler Higby there to make the grab as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Zerline good with a PAT, and we are tied at 14. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They start from scratch here, so to speak. 14 all following the interception last time that led to a score. Now they've got it first and 10. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. A good pick up there, a 22. On first and 10, here's Brady. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Aaron Donald, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Here's Brady to throw. He's going to look deep for Edelman. And that one almost intercepted. Call it a 50-50 ball. It falls incomplete, and now third down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. 26 Mike. 26 Mike. Watch the top. Hey, check it. Here we go. Here we go. 26 Mike. On third and long, it's Brady. Flushed out right. Trying for Edelman again this time. He's got him. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. And sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Now, meanwhile, the throw by Brady knocked away incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Throwing again, Brady. Alluding to, and eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Samson Abukum. He's the culprit dropping him for a two-yard loss. Bravo. 58, boys. 58. 58. Mike. I'm on. I'm on. 58. Right over there. Right over there. Yeah. 53 land now. They can't hang with us. 58. Throwing his Brady on third down. And the pressure gets to him again. Samson Abukum picks up his second sack of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there and handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. At the 24-yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Hurry, 
And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Goff going to hand it to Gurley. And he's got Rome. Todd Gurley, wave goodbye. Touchdown, L.A. Todd Gurley, 76 yards. And the Rams have taken the lead. So what was already a game to remember becomes even more so as that touchdown run, a lengthy one, takes him over 200 yards now for the game. And I love the fact that to get over 200, it took a pretty good sprint, didn't it? I mean, a lot of times you get one or two yards, and oh, he's over 200 yards. But that really put an exclamation point on the game he's having. Fantastic. A lot of fun to watch. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with a game. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by the safety, Eric Weddle. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. The good old cover three defense, partner. When you start playing football as a safety, that's the first thing you're taught. Middle of the field, be as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, and break on the football when it's thrown, and pick it off, just as we saw there. After the interception, here's Gall. He gets it to Gurley, complete. Tom Gurley, wave goodbye. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Todd Gurley, 59 yards. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better.